Dear friends, welcome to Rotating and Static Equipment channel. In this video, I am going to explain about centrifugal compressor dry gas seal supply system. Here I am showing you a simplified flow diagram of dry gas seal supply system. First I will explain about the schematic flow diagram. This is our centrifugal compressor. This is the suction line and this is the discharge line. Then this is called drive and side. Here we have a drive coupling and prime mover and this is called a non drive and side here we have turning gear dry gas seals are placed in the both drive end and the non drive end sides to prevent the leakage from rotor shaft now we will see the internal components elaborately we'll start from drive end side the compressor discharge gas which comes out between the balancing drum and the labyrinth enter into the chamber and returns to the compressor suction by means of external connection called as balancing line after the balancing drum we have inner labyrinth in the chamber next to the inner labyrinth dry gas seal unit is started this is called double mechanical gas seal arrangement the first unit is called as primary seal it is consists a set of seal ring mating ring primary sleeve primary housing primary retainer primary ditch elements and springs after that we have intermediate labyrinth seal then the second unit is called as secondary seal it is consists a set of seal ring mating ring secondary sleeve secondary housing secondary retainer secondary ditch element and springs after the primary seal and secondary seal we have tertiary seal it's not a mechanical seal it is just two set of labyrinth seals after the tertiary seal the bearing units will be there now drive end side has been completed next we will go for non drive end side see here similar to the drive end side from the shaft end we have inner labyrinth seal next to the inner labyrinth seal the dry gas seal unit is started the first unit is called as primary seal it is consist a set of seal ring mating ring primary sleeve primary housing primary retainer primary ditch elements and springs after that we have intermediate labyrinth seal then the second unit is called as secondary seal it is consists a set of seal ring mating ring secondary sleeve secondary housing secondary retainer secondary ditch elements and springs and after the secondary seal we have tertiary seal okay these are all the units from non drive end side these mechanical gas seal units are made by cartridge type seal with assembly bar in order to prevent the process gas from escaping through the chambers and inner labyrinth seal every individual chambers are pressurized by process gas or external source gases for primary seals process gas are used to pressurize from the compressor final discharge it is called as seal gas initially seal gases supplied from external source is added to the process gas for secondary seals nitrogen gas is used to pressurize as a buffer gas because it is inert gas and it is act as a backup for the primary seal for next uh, tertiary seals instrument are used to flushing the tertiary seals now we will see the seal gas supply so this is the seal gas supply inlet to be sure that the seals operate with condensate free clean gas filtered gas is injected at the pressure slightly higher than the suction pressure for example assume the compressor operating suction pressure is 1 bar means the seal gas pressure will be 1.5 to 3 bar now see the seal gas supply in first the seal gas is preheated by electric heater for the certain temperature after that it is passes through the filter for the process of removal foreign material dust and minor carbon particles see here this is a picture of a seal gas filter this is a replaceable cartridge type pin gas filter this filters are piped in a parallel arrangement using a continuous flow transfer valve normally any one of the filter is being on line and another one is standby if the filter differential pressure is getting high means the working filter elements got shocked and it is showing the alarm from the dcs then we need to change over the filter with the help of continuous flow transfer valve and bypass valve after that we can change the filter elements from the existing filter so this is the concept of seal gas filter then cleaned seal gas is injected to the primary seals on the drive end and non drive end 
through the orifice and the seal gas pressure is controlled and maintained by the pressure differential control valve after that the seal gas that returned from the primary seal chambers directly sent to the flare system to burn through a flow control valve and flow orifice valve by means of lines called primary venting lines a differential pressure transmitter installed between the upstream and the downstream of the flow control valves the pressure transmitters provides for alarm signal and tripping the units in case of high pressure next we will go for nitrogen gas injection supply in the inlet pressure of the nitrogen gas is 8 bar see the nitrogen gas inlet the nitrogen gas is passes through the filter for the process of removal of foreign particles and dust this is the replaceable cartridge type twin gas filter these filters are piped in a parallel arrangement using a continuous flow transfer valve normally any one of the filters is being online and another one is standby if the filter differential pressure is getting high means the working filter is got choked and it showing the alarm from the dcs then we need to change over the filter with the help of continuous flow transfer valve and bypass valve after that we can change the filter element from the existing filter the filter element filtering size is 2 to 5 microns then cleaned nitrogen is injected to the secondary seal chambers on the drive and side and the non drive and side through the orifice and the nitrogen gas pressure controlled and maintained by the pressure control valve then nitrogen gas that returns from the secondary seal chamber is directly sent to the atmosphere in a safe area this is called as a secondary venting line and secondary venting lines pipings monitored by the flammable gas detectors it provides for an alarm signal and tripping the unit in case of leaks from the primary seal chambers finally we'll go for instrument air supply so this is the instrument air supply in the inlet pressure of the instrument air is 8 bar first the instrument air is passes through the filter for the process of removal of foreign particle and dust this is the replaceable cartridge type twin gas filter these filters are piped in a parallel arrangement using a continuous flow transfer valve then cleaned instrument air is injected to the territory seals through the orifice and the instrument air pressure is controlled and maintained by the pressure control valve then instrument air return lines that return from the territory seal chambers is directly sent to the main blue boil tank because next to the territory seal the bearing units are started instrument air is act as a barrier for the blue boil and the blue boil vapors coming from the bearing units and it's not allowing to blue boil and the blue boil vapors to enter into the mechanical gas seals it is carrying the blue boil and the blue boil vapors draining from the bearing units and leaving into the main blue boil tank so this is the concept of centrifugal compressor dry gas seal supply system if you want to add something about this dry gas seal supply system kindly write in the comment box of this video thanks for watching this video see you in the next video